hello everyone uh, i am amit maru and uh, today in this video we are going to discuss about uh, multiplying large uh, numbers if you want to perform multiplication between two large integer number then uh, we have uh, one classic algorithm in classic algorithm number of multiplication is more so if you want to reduce number of multiplication then we can use the divide and conquer concept uh, so uh, let us discuss uh, how we can reduce number of multiplication uh, by using divide and conquer concept so let us start our today's video on multiplying large number suppose we have a, a two integer number like uh, 981 and second number that is 1234 if you want to perform multiplication between these two uh, number then uh, we have one classic algorithm that most of us uh, learn in our school so when we perform multiplication between these two numbers so normal the multiplication uh, method is we are multiplying one with uh, all four digit then two with all four digit then three with all four uh, four digit then four with all uh, four digit so when we think about number of multiplication in this case at that time number of multiplication is 16 because every digit multiply with uh, every above digit so total number of multiplications are 14 when we think about number of digits then number of digits are 4 if we say that uh, n is nothing but the number of digit then n is equal to 4 and number of multiplications required by the classic algorithm is 16 so the total time complexity or total number of multiplications required in our classic algorithm is order of n square or we can say it is a theta of n square if number of digit is 4 then total number of multiplications required 16 if number of digit is 5 then total number of multiplications required 25 so in this way uh, our classic algorithm required a uh, total order of n square time complexity or order of n square number of multiplications now how we can reduce number of multiplication by using divide and conquer algorithm by using divide and conquer method so as you know that in divide and conquer we have to divide our instance into different parts right so this is the basic step of our divide and conquer so let us divide our uh, uh, both the number uh, by 2 so we are dividing uh, 0 9 81 into two parts that is 0 9 and 81 so we are storing 0 9 in uh, one variable for example w 81 in another variable for example x so w is equal to 0 9 x is equal to 81 uh, likewise we have to divide uh, 1234 into different two parts so 1 2 12 will be stored inside the y variable and 3 4 will be stored inside the z variable so we have divided into different two parts now uh, we can write 981 is equal to 10 raised to 2 into w plus x because w is equal to 0 9 so 0 9 multiplied by 100 that is 900 plus x x is nothing but 81 so 900 plus 81 is equal to 981 same way we can write 1234 is equal to uh, 10 raised to 2 into y plus z because y is equal to 12 and z is equal to 34 so 12 multiplied by 100 so 1200 plus 34 so 12 1234 that is 1234 so we can write uh, 981 in this uh, way and uh, 1234 in this way now when you perform multiplication between these two number like uh, 981 multiplied by 1234 then we can write uh, like uh, 10 raised to 2 into w plus x into 10 raised to uh, 2 into y plus z so in place of 981 we can write uh, this equation in, th in place of 1234 uh, we can write this equation and uh, we have to perform multiplication between these two numbers so we are using multiplying sign in between these two equation now when we solve this equation then we can write 10 raised to 2 into w into 10 raised to 2 into y so 10 raised to 4 in, uh, into w into y likewise uh, 10 raised to 2 uh, into w multiply with z so 10 raised to 2 into w z then x will multiply uh, with uh, uh, 10 raised to 2 into uh, y so we can get 10 raised to 2 into x y and x is multiply with z so x z so uh, in, in this uh, middle term once we check then uh, 10 raised to 2 is common in this both the term 
so we can write 10 raised to 4 into w y plus uh, 10 raised to 2 is a common so that we can write in bracket w z plus x uh, y plus x z you put the value of w y x and z then we can get for example w is equal to 0 9 and y is equal to 12 so 12 multiplied by 9 that is 108 multiplied by 10 raised to 4 then we can get this answer likewise put the value of w z x and y here then we can get this answer uh, and the value of x and z x is equal to uh, 81 and z is equal to 34 so 81 multiplied by 34 is equal to 2754 perform addition uh, of uh, this all the values then we can get this answer this answer is same like our classic algorithm now check uh, can we reduce number of multiplication in this case so we have to verify number of multiplication here total four number of multiplications required this is the first multiplication second multiplication third multiplication and fourth multiplication in every multiplication has total four internal multiplication because w has a two digit y has a two digit so four multiplications required likewise here four multiplications required so total four multiplication and every multiplication has the internal four multiplication so total 16 multiplications required so in this case we cannot reduce number of multiplication still so now we have to do something so that we can reduce at least one multiplication now uh, remember this equation because uh, this equation is very much important uh, to reduce number of multiplication and we will use uh, later on in this equation we have to focus here that is uh, w into z plus x into y here total number of multiplication that is one multiplication in this pair and one multiplication in this pair if we write in different way uh, in that only one multiplication uh, one multiplication is required and still we can get same answer then we can reduce number of multiplication so how it is possible uh, let us discuss uh, suppose uh, is it possible to obtain wz plus xy at the cost of single multiplication yes how it is possible for example if we write r is equal to w plus x uh, into y plus z uh, and when we solve this equation uh, when we solve this equation at that time we can write uh, wy plus uh, wz plus xy plus xz it means that w will be multiply with y w with multiply with z then x with y x with z then we can get this equation right now see here wz plus xy is available but extra wy and extra xz is available once we remove it at the time we can get this term right so in uh, in r r is equal to w plus x into w plus z if we lie uh, if we write for example minus wy and minus xz at the time we can get this term right so later on we will do this thing so that we can reduce number of multiplication for example if we say w into y and we are considering for example p is one variable is equal to wy is equal to when the uh, value w is equal to 0 9 and wy is equal to 12 so 9 multiplied by 12 is equal to 108 if we say it is a p for example x into z is known as q is equal to 81 multiplied by 34 so the answer is 2754 and it is suppose our q and r is equal to w plus x that is this equation so we are using this equation uh, so in this all the uh, variable p required only one multiplication q required only one multiplication and r also required one multiplication if we can find solution by using this three term only then we can say number of multiplications required that is uh, three only right so as we discussed in our previous equation uh, we have written that uh, 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 multiplication between this the uh, between these two number we can write like a uh, 10 raised to 4 into wy plus 10 raised to 2 uh, into wz plus xy plus xz this equation we already discussed now in this equation the put the value of uh, p so wz is equal to p so wz is equal to uh, wz plus xy in place of that we can write r minus p minus q because r is nothing like this one so when we write uh, minus p minus p means minus wy and minus q means minus xz so xz will be removed and wy will be removed so we can get wz plus xy that is w plus xy so in place of that we can write r minus p minus q right and then xz 
is equal to q so this is our new equation in this equation we have to put the value of p r and q so we have to put the value of p is equal to 108 q is equal to 2750 uh, and 54 uh, and then uh, we have to write uh, the value of uh, r uh, from this equation and then we can get this value once we perform addition between this all the values then we can get uh, this answer and this answer is same like our classic algorithm now once we compare number of multiplication here we are getting same answer but we have to check how many multiplications required we have uh, uh, added value we have uh, assigned value of p and p required only one multiplication uh, r required only one multiplication q required only one multiplication so only three multiplications required to find the solution of same problem right so we can say three multiplication like uh, 09 multiply by 12 81 multiply by 34 90 multiply by 46 this three number of multiplications required uh, to find the solution of uh, same problem actually in a classic algorithm we required four number of multiplications right so in place of four uh, we can uh, find solution of same problem by using three multiplication so let us discuss time complexity how we can uh, reduce time complexity by using divide and conquer algorithm so we discuss a uh, classic algorithm required uh, one multiplication required uh, order of n square or uh, theta of n square uh, in our classic algorithm as we discuss uh, total four multiplications required in our case and uh, we have solved same problem by using three multiplication so that we can write uh, three into h of uh, n by 2 plus g of n this h of n by 2 is uh, uh, is our classic algorithm and as classic algorithm required n raised to 2 uh, number of multiplication or n raised to 2 time complexity so we can write 3 into c uh, n divided by 2 raised to 2 plus g of n same uh, equation we can write like uh, 3 by uh, 4 c into n square plus g of n this n square is a uh, uh, time complexity of our classic algorithm to perform multiplication between two number right so uh, as uh, as per this equation we can say that a uh, classic algorithm uh, in our case uh, total four number of multiplications required but in place of four we have solved same problem by using three multiplication so we have reduced one multiplication and we have uh, got answer that is same answer as our classic algorithm right so out of uh, uh, four multiplication only three multiplications required so we have reduced one multiplication it means that 25 percent is time we have saved right so in divide and conquer we can say that we have gained about 25 percentage in speed compared to our classic algorithm right so this is all about time complexity uh, when we perform multiplication between two number by using divide and conquer this is all about uh, how to perform multiplication between two number by using uh, divide and conquer so thank you thank you very much